Biometric Authentication. You can place a second level of access security on Onion Browser by using its authentication option. You might prefer this option if you believe you face a physical security threat. If there is a chance your device might get stolen or if your device might be otherwise misused by people you don't trust. First, you need to set up your iOS device to require security at login via a six-digit numeric passcode, Face ID or Touch ID. Select and configure the method you prefer. If you already done that, there is no need to change. Now, tap the Onion Browser Settings icon to get to the Settings page. You'll see a selection option for Lock App with Touch ID, Face ID, or Device Passcode. Select that option to enable it and restart Onion Browser. On your next use, Onion Browser will require your ID in whatever form you've requested before it will start up. Useful tips Dark mode The Onion Browser has a built-in dark mode that allows it to comply with the system settings for the dark color scheme. To set dark mode, visit the iOS settings application and tap display and brightness. Select your appearance here. Onion Browser will comply with these settings. Tab Security Hide web pages when switching apps Hiding web pages when switching apps is a feature required by people who are in danger of having their device removed from their person by other bad actors. If that happens, the contents of your open tabs can be seen and perhaps screenshotted by those bad actors and used in prosecution. Sounds great, but it means you lose your browsing state when switching back to Onion Browser, which is terribly inconvenient for most users. So there are lesser options too. For the settings page, select Tab Security, then select From, Forget in Background. Happens when you tap the Home button, otherwise switch apps, or the display times out and the login screen is presented. Forget at Shutdown happens only when user actually closes the app or shuts down the device. Remember tabs. Tabs are not hidden. These settings is also called startup in last state, and it's the opposite of remove web pages when switching apps, because it means your browsing state is saved between sessions. For many, this is a tremendous time saver, but users concerned about their devices being taken from them should not enable this feature. Note, your bookmarks are also an indication of your browsing interest. Creating many bookmarks on the device leaves a certain fingerprint about your browsing intentions. In the same way, open tabs indicate what's actually being used. See the next cloud bookmarks feature as a way to resolve this problem. Onion Browser as default system browser. There are a lot of ways you can acquire a link to web content and resources. Many applications, when seeing a link, will offer the option of seeing that link in the system web browser. On iOS, Safari is the system browser registered to open links, and iOS doesn't allow other browsers to have that privilege. Safari doesn't use Tor, so it's not safe to open links that way. We can't make Onion Browser the system browser, but there is a way to disable Safari and allow Onion Browser to open your links. Follow these steps. Open the Settings app. Tap Screen Time. Tap Content and Privacy Restrictions. Tap Allowed Apps. Turn off Safari. This way, Safari won't be open anymore when links are clicked in any app starting with HTTP or HTTPS. Onion Browser can now open the link safely. Next Cloud Bookmarks Bookmarks make it easy to access frequently desired content as well as to preserve access to infrequently visited but necessary sites. 
However, bookmarks can also represent intent or interest, and for those in danger of losing their device to bad actors, this can be an issue. If you use Nextcloud, you can manage your Onion Browser bookmarks on other devices and synchronize them with Onion Browser. Here is how. Tap the bookmarks icon, then tap Sync with Nextcloud. Enter the link for your Nextcloud server along with your username and password there. Then tap Sync bookmarks. If you are not a Nextcloud user and this sounds interesting, find more about Nextcloud at nextcloud.com.